Warning, this content contains foul language, violence, and gore. Enjoy the story. Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Last time on What If Deku was caught the eye of a vampire. Izuku, you know, took the ancient exams and dominated that and showed off a bit more power than he should have at the end. Uh, vaporizing the zero pointer in majority of the battle testing ground with it. Izuku was lucky enough that no one was, you know, in the blast radius of his attack. Or he would have straight up killed people. As he went through his first day of school, he basically slaughtered at that um, quirk and testament test that Azala likes to throw. As he didn't expel anyone. After everyone's per per uh, performance at the test as, yeah, we're going to... We're going to start where we left off. Now, in this, I'm going to cover the hero versus the villains in the USJ. Then we're going to stop it there. As Izuku, you know, yawns as he tries to get out of bed as he has Alice wrapped around his waist. You know, we have to get ready for school. Alice, I know. Give me a couple minutes. I'm not ready to get out of bed. And neither are you. Whatever. Let's, let's just make sure we're not late. Relax, Izuku. Just, just enjoy the um the moment. As Izuku sighs, as he finally gives in. As Alice gets closer. As they come to face to face. As she kisses him. I, I guess we should probably get up. As Alice, you know, starts to get dressed. And so does Izuku. As Izuku and Alice walk out of their dorm room. As Izuku sees the group of the girls. Well, well, the class 1A whispering each other as they're looking at um Alice and Izuku. As they're gossiping about, you know, the whole, um, they're sharing one room. So that got the girls to talking a little bit. You know, Mina, she's the type of character would get in, try to get the, uh, the details on the whole situation. But unfortunately for them, luckily for Izuku, they're late for class. So as, you know, everyone rushes to, uh, go to get to class one day. As they're running a little late. Not by much. As Alice and Izuku walks in the classroom as everyone's... Oh, the teacher's not there. That's a bit strange. As Izuku, you know, sits down. It was just next to Alice. As, you know, they're, got, they're talking back and forth until... Class starts, apparently. As you have a Zawa walk... Uh, sorry. As you have Azal walk in the door as he explains what's going to happen today. As immediately you hear the door slam open as you have All Might announce himself in his retro outfit. As everyone, you know, gets excited that it's All Might. Except for Alice and um, Izuku. As All Might sees Izuku. All Might. Young Izuku. As everyone looks at um, Izuku. How nonchalant he acts towards the number one hero. Before they could get, uh, before they could ask their question, says All Might, the foreman of what they're going to be doing. As he goes through the speech of the clothes make the pro, all that. As he presses the button, as you know, all their hero suits, you know, come. Slide open as all their heresies are there as, you know, they go to get dressed. Um, Izuku uh, doesn't really have a hero attire. He doesn't need one, so... He just dresses like what you see in the thumbnail for right now. Hero versus villain. That sounds interesting, Izuku. 
perfect physical combat. I like this a whole lot better than la than than uh, than our first day activities. But let's see what let's see who they have us fight against, or who they pair pair us up. I wonder how they're gonna go about it. Who knows, Izuku? We might be paired to fight each other. Now that would be a very interesting situation. I could finally have some fun for once. Remember the last time we sparred, we did we didn't even spar half the time. I know, I know, I well, we'll see what happens. That's all my announces the matches as Yeah. Alice and her partner is on the I don't know what she would be. Give me a second here, guys. As on the villain team, it is Alice and and Ida. On the hero team is Izuku and um, Bakugo. Well, it looks like we'd be fighting each other, Izuku. I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the, on the fields, dear. As she kisses him on the cheek, I won't embarrass you too badly. As she walks off laughing. Listen here, nerd. Just stay in my way. As Bakugo, you know, walks off. I guess plans out the window. Oh, great. I had to be teamed up with the fucking... The bottle rocket. Oh, great. Let's see how uh, how this plays out. As you have uh, Ida and Alice. Ida, was it? Yeah, Alice. You stick, um... Why don't you, um... Stick close to the bomb. Guard it and move it if you have to. I'll handle... I'll handle the, the two boys. Are you sure? Don't worry. Contact me if you have... If, um, if they bypass me and I'll take care of it. As Bakugo and Izuku get ready, as they announced... Uh, the test to begin as Bakugo blasts forward, leaving Izuku in the dust. As Izuku's just standing there with his hands in his pocket. As he slowly walks up to the building, as Bakugo's already in there, blasting through as... Yeah, Izuku hears loud explosions as all everyone can hear is the uh, cold silence. Uh, yeah, he's probably done for. Oops. I could have probably warned him, but he's a dick. So he's a douche. So, huh, I really don't care. As Izuku, you know, walks in, as Momo took, you know, noticed that Izuku didn't really give a care too much about his partner. As Shoto, you know... He recognizes Izuku, but he's not totally sure where. It's kind of bugging him. Izuku sees Alice as she waves. As Izuku looks at Alice and looks over to the wall as the Bakugo is implanted in, in into it. As Izuku walks up to his walks up to Bakugo, need some help. I'd rather die than get your help. Very well. Continue forward then, as Bakugo blasts forward as Alice grabs him by the hand, as she elbows him in the face, as he goes flying into the wall again, implanted it to the last time he got implanted. You know, only you have to do is ask for my help, Bakugo, and I can handle this for you. Screw you! As he jumps forward, as he gets thrown back into the wall, you're a stubborn one, are you? You just can't simply ask for help. Ah, <sighs> you're such an idiot. It doesn't matter. 
you go up at, you go on ahead, Bakugo, as Bakugo's like, what do you mean, nerd? As immediately he falls through a poor, uh, sorry, he immediately falls through a shadow. As he reappears, you know, uh, oh, above a level where he was, as he's now on like the third level. Well, let's say he's on the second level. As he shoots out his shadow, as Bakugo, you know, screams, you freaking nerd, I'm gonna kill you. As you have Izuku, you know, kinda smiling. I had no idea you could um, transport people in your shadows like that. It seems like you've been keeping secrets. I wonder how many secrets I can unravel during this battle. You could always try, Alice. Miss Villain. Yes, my pouty face. I'm no villain. As, as you know, they both laugh. Well, I guess we probably should start this now. As immediately Alice and Izuku go in for a charge as their fists collide as they make shockwaves inside the building. As Izuku and Alice, their battle, you know, shakes the, the, um, the ground floor. As Baka goes, like, he's wondering, like, what the hell type of power do, uh, do they have to cause that much damage to the building? As, you know, he finally gets up to, um, Ida as he begins fighting Ida. Ida is, you know, being difficult with his, um, speed. But it's only a matter of time before Bakugo overtakes Ida. That's just, it, it's just gonna happen. As you have Alice, as she throws Izuku against the wall, as she pins him down onto the wall, as begin, she begins kissing him. Much as I enjoy our make-out sessions, um, Alice, we're not alone. I know. I really just don't care. This is all that happens during our sparring sessions. I know. Let's... Let's not try... Let's not try to get, you know... Too intimate during this battle, please. Alright, you're no fun. It's immediately Izuku, you know, kicks Alice as she, she goes flying out the building. As Izuku follows suit. As Izuku lands on his feet. As he sees Alice. As she has a bright smile. As she's smiling. As... The next words came out of Alice's mouth. She, um, kind of surprised everyone. I uh, as, as so, she simply says these words. Well, Izuku, I love it when you play rough. As she has, you know, a hungry, a hungry expression on her face. Oh, damn it, Bakugo! Hurry up! I can't keep her down. Can't keep her calm for long. As immediately Alice disappears, as she begins to strike Izuku, as Izuku could barely keep up with her. As she is a pure blood vampire. He's he's a half demon, but he's just not at her level at her at at his current sorry at his current stage. She knees Izuku in the stomach as he goes flying up a little bit. As she, sorry, give me guys. As immediately she face palms him as Izuku goes flying into the building. As Izuku gets up, as he, as he turns around, as Alice grabs him by the ne by the collar of his shirt, as she flips him over in the ground, as she pins him down. What are you doing, Alice? Just having fun, that's all. We're in the middle of a test, of Christ's sake. Seriously? Izuku? What, Christ? I'm a half-demon. You're, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter, Alice. I win. What you mean, you win? 
You're forgetting Bakugo, remember? Oh, shit. As everyone hears a loud explosion as... Oh, my called it as the villain team wins as Izuku. What? As Bakugo kind of blew up the bomb. So, they lost in this one. And dear, I think you lost this one. You're supposed to get the bomb, not blow it up, dear. Your little partner apparently didn't understood that. <sighs> of course, Bakugo would all. Of course, Bakugo would do that. Now, what do I do with the defenseless hero? That's at my mercy. Alice. Don't worry, I'll let you go. Well, I'll have my fun later tonight. As she helps Izuku up. As she dusts him off. As everyone goes through their um, tests, as All Might tells them what they did wrong and all that. What they need to work on. As Izuku needs to uh, be more of a tame player. And um, Alice needs to stop toying around with her foes. Even though, yeah, All Might's not to touch that subject. After Alice gives him a very vicious look, as yeah, he tries to stay away from Rome from Alice as much as possible. As you have the next day, as everyone's on the bus to go to the USJ. As Mina's trying to get Alice's uh, attention, as Izuku's, you know, kind of fell asleep on the bus. What is it, Mina? Oh, I'm just curious. Um, are you two together or something? Yes, we are. By the way, what is your cork, Alice? Oh, that? Oh, it's vampire. As you can tell, I have vampiric appearance. It's a vampiric cork. As while well, she's talking to Mina. As she's stroking Izuku's hair. That's the moment when Sue asks Alice about what's her like full name. As she told everyone that you know she's Alice Rosefield. As a Rosefield is quite known in Japan as Momo was shocked that there's another rich person here. Rich girl. So she doesn't feel totally alone. When it comes to being the only rich kid outside of, you know, Todoroki. Bus stops. As Azella tells everyone to get up and we're here. As Alice, you know, gets easy to go up. It's time to get up. We're here at the USJ. Sorry about that, Alice. I guess I must have dozed off. It's no problem, Izuku. As he's, you know, yawns as he gets off the bus. So this is the USJ. Oh, huh, pretty big. Guess we'll go in as everyone, you know, meets 13 as Araka gushes over, you know. Her favorite hero. As Alice whispers something in his Izuku ear. As Izuku understood Alice, as he walks over to, uh, 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 sorry, Ixawa, as he informed, you know, there's some extra people here. As he doesn't, he, he makes sure not to be suspicious about it. As Azawa immediately told, um, told the class to head back to the gate. As the gate closes, as a, a villain started appearing. Everywhere, as a portal opens up, as you see Kara Gary and Shigaraki step out. I don't see All Might here. No matter, kill them all. As you know, the villains, you know, begin to attack. As is all, he tells the kids to, well, tells everyone to stay back. As he got, you know, um, what's his face. Um, Ida, as they tell Ida to go get more pros, 
as Shigaraki announced himself as the leader of the League of Villains. As they proclaim they are here to kill All Might. Immediately, you know, sorry, me stop saying you know a lot, but let's see. As you have Bakugo and Shoto, Todoroki, as they rush forward with Kirishima, as they uh, go to attack the villains, they didn't listen to um, Ozawa to, you know, stay back, because they're idiots. As Ozawa's, you know, doing his thing, he's, you know, beating some ass. The minor villains are no match for him until... Well, Ozawa looks over as he sees 13, as the back of her suit is busted open from Kirigiri, um, from Kirigiri opening a portal from her back. Using his portal as it shoots out her back as it destroys her suit, compromises her body to the elements. As 13's down for the count, as Kirigiri immediately... Begins to portal everyone away. The moment the portal made contact with Izuku. As the portal immediately goes haywire. As it kind of explode, Kind of, you know, di uh, dissipates. As, yeah, he can't be teleported by Kira Gary. As Izuku has a bro as he has a, he's smiling on his as Izuku has a grin on his face. Did you just seriously try to portal me? Oh, you villains. You're just, you're just digging yourself a larger grave for yourselves. In the fact that you portaled Alice away, and that was your biggest mistake. Now there's not anyone here to hold me back. Keep me under control. Now I can have some fun. At this time, as he sees Ozawa getting um, beaten down by the Nomu. The Nomu was summoned shortly after every everyone got portaled away. As Izuku calmly, slowly, walks up to the Nomu as he's passing several villains. As several villains come in to attack Izuku as, as Izuku just flicks them. As they go flying up in the air. Several villains try to jump Izuku all at once as their attacks are missing. As Izuku is just casually dodging out of the way. As he immediately flicks another one. As he palm strikes the last one. As he gets indented, sorry, as he gets indented into the ground. Very hardly. That dude's not going to walk again anytime soon. Immediately when the Nomu tried to crush Izawa's head. As he's, as Izuku blitz in. As he kicks the Nomu to side the head. As he goes flying across the arena. Or the USJ. Hitting that um the inner walls. And denting in into it. Izuku knows the Nomu getting up as it rush back at him, as Izuku backhands it, as it goes flying across the, across the USJ again, as this keeps happening back and forth, as, as Shikaraki's, you know, bragging about the Nomu. You can't defeat the Nomu, kid, it's gonna kill you. You're as good as dead. You should, uh, stay back and hide. Nomo, you call it. Interesting. No matter. As the Nomo rush towards Izuku again, as Izuku grabs it by the face, as he slams it into the ground, you have Ozawa, Exa uh, as he's like half conscious and half not, as he's fading out of consciousness, as he's telling Izuku to run. As Izuku's like, don't worry, Mr. Eraserhead. Everything will be fine. As Inko told Ozawa that many times during the field, when she was still alive, 
As is all, it passes out. Tsunomu tries to sock Izuku. As he doesn't move from the spot. As Tsunomu's on back on he the Nomu's on one knee. As Izuku, you know, sees the grabs the Nomu arm and rips it off. As he throws across the um, across the across the way. As the hand flops to the ground as Izuku knows there's no blood whatsoever. As Shigaraki's laughing, he can't kill him. He'll just regenerate. Oh, interesting. So this thing's not human. Perfect. Immediately, Izuku kicks the Nomu as he goes flying up in the air. As he points his finger at the Nomu, as a as a bright a black light a gulp the uh, the area as you um as it hits Nomu, as it vaporizes it from head to toe as it scatters all over the USJ. Fair, not fair, cheater! That was supposed to kill All Might. You're dead, kid. As immediately, um, Shigaraki was rushing over to Izuku. As Izuku just has a casual smile on his face. At the moment, he was trying to reach Izuku as Portal opens up from Shigaraki from killing Izuku. As he looks at Karagiri. What are you doing, Karagiri? Our young master. But I'm doing what, I'm, what I've been ordered. Master made it perfectly clear. This one must not be harmed. We're going back. I'm not done here yet, Kira Gary. As he portals um Shigaraki away, as the door bursts open as All Might comes piling through. Until we meet again, young Yuzuku. As Karagiri goes into his own portal as he disappears. As All Might begins, you know. Wrecking the villains. Capturing everyone. Alice feels the bloodlust, the pure demonic aura that's emitting off Izuku. As it's visible. As it's a blackish, purplish aura surrounding as all the villains are on their knees. As when Shigaraki and Kirigiri got away, Izuku was very pissed. is helping out her classmates as she immediately feels his aura as she's like oh shit I need a Momo can you take care of things over here yeah I got everything under uh, under control I need to get to Izuku he's gonna do something stupid as immediately she's afraid that he's gonna do something you know go on to a mass murdering spree the Izuku grab one of the villains as he lifts him up where are they I don't know, man. Then you're useless to me. As he begins to point his finger, as he begins to knee, uh, a night, you know, a bright energy coming out of his, out of his fingertip. As Alice is, that's enough, Izuku. The man, the guy can't fight. He's, he has pure fear on his face. I could smell the fear off him. Don't worry, Izuku. We'll find him. As he slowly... As he lets him go, as... Izuku slowly, you know... Puts his hand down as, you know, his fingertip... Stop glowing. He puts Izuku in as she hugs Izuku. As she's been keeping keeping Izuku from going full on vigilante. If Alice wasn't around, he would have gone strictly to the vigilante route. And she's trying to keep him um, balanced. 
she might be a vampire, but she actually cares about Izuki, so she doesn't want... She doesn't want nothing to go... She doesn't want anything to happen to him. I'm confused, Alice. What is it, Izuku? What that villain said is very concerning. What did he say? Apparently, their master wanted me unharmed. I don't know what's going on, Alice. Isaac, it will figure it out like we always have. You're not alone anymore. I know. Come on, let's let's get out of here. Let's ha let's let the pros, you know, do their job. As you know, immediately the aura stops as all the villains, you know, immediately surrender after that. All Might could barely stand just by the bloodlust that Izuku was giving off. As the demonic aura pressure was like a, a, a lot. So everyone gets checked out at the USJ and make sure everyone's, you know, not dead. Now everyone was, you know, pretty much no one no one died yet. So far in the what if. A couple energies, you know, Exawa got what he got in canon and um Manetta wasn't no he wasn't in this, so Alice took a uh, met on Manetta's um place in this. She got transported with Araka. No no, not with Araka, but she got transported with Sue. And oh, I think Ochaka was there. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the USJ. Because Ochaka got um, teleported somewhere else. So it was like, I think in canon it was Izuku, Sue, and um, Mineta. So yeah. This, but Alice is in uh, Mineta's place. I just, she's strong enough to get out of that situation with the boat. So no one died of that. No one died. They announced that you know, the school will be taking a, a about four week break before the sports festival. Let's say five weeks. They have a five week break. So that's probably where we're going to stop our episode off there. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judge by time sense. All right. I'll see you in the next video.